we are here. The, the original plan was to go after Snook and Jack, but you know, weather conditions, it's, it's kind of windy. It's, it's raining a little bit, no, not so hard, but it is raining and I'm cold as hell. So the new plan is to go after my PB trout and hopefully we're lucky today. Yes. Woo. First cast with the popper, top water, and we had a fish or not a giant. Definitely a dinker. It's just a baby, but it's a great start to, to it's a great start for the day. You need my pliers, you don't want to get your hands close to these teeth. <laughs> He's on hook. Let's take a look. <laughs> look at this. There he goes. Perfect condition for top water. The water is kind of warm, so the fish are more active. But it's still cloudy and kind of cold. I don't know. I don't know how to say. It's just you have to take those factors in consideration. How a blowout. Not too cold or not too hot. Yes, another fish. Man, we are slaying. This is a little bit better. Also a dinker, but it's better. Here we have it. Nice fish. Man, I'm telling you, this this little popper top water today is just perfect. Sometimes it's the conditions are okay to throw soft plastics with small jigs. But today, man, it's all about top water. I'm pretty confident that we, we're gonna have this top water bite through the day because normally, you know, top water is the early in the morning or when the sun is hiding so I'm pretty confident that today top water is by it's gonna be hot all day I was just saying my dad to put a popper on And this fish comes and grabs my popper. I'm telling you. Twitch, 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 twitch. Blow out. Good sweet trout. That was a big one. Come back for it, come back for it. There it is. There it is. Man, I'm slaying this fish. Almost every cast. Almost every cast. I'm getting one fish per cast. <laughs> I could go all day with this fish. There's so much fun to catch. This is a good one though. I love this fish, it's so beautiful. They are so aggressive. That's why they are so much fun. I missed it. There it is. This is a good one though. This is a good one.
barely hooks this fish. <laughs> I want to flip him to the kayak, but he's barely hooked. So here we go. <laughs> Like this is the the best of the day so far. Not a giant, but still the best of the day. Like I said, it's just 20 minutes into fishing. I'm getting a lot of bites. I got it. Yes. First fish in a while. that he was hooked. Oh man. I didn't feel this fish, like, I thought that it was grass. This fish couldn't make it, just hate the whole thing. Got hooked, you know, sometimes you want to, to take care of this fish and preserve the sport, but sometimes you it's part of fishing, you know, but it's not going to be a waste. Definitely it's going to be a good meal, a good ceviche or something like that. Okay. We're going to give him some air because he's been here for a while. Okay, so this happens. The GoPro dies. I'm going to put it in my chest right now. GoPro dies and and I really don't care. I I, I had another spare battery. Oh 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 my god! I'm gonna give some air to this guy and I had an extra battery, but I really wasn't planning to change it. You know, <laughs> look at this fish. It's it's the best of the day. The best fish of the day. We're gonna let him go and I'm gonna tell you the history of what happened later. I don't know if he's hurt or something, but... Okay, okay. That was just a bunch of... Okay, that was... Unfortunate, crazy, and... Unexpected, definitely unexpected. So here's what happened. I has, like I said before, the GoPro died. I had a spare battery. But uh, I didn't. I didn't think that I was gonna. I was gonna change batteries because anyway, I was. I was about to leave. This always happened to me. Like I don't know what it is, but I just. Uh, okay. The the thing is that I throw my lure. Like okay, I'm gonna make one more cast. Like just for the sake of of fishing, I'm gonna make one more cast. I throw the bait. I, not a single bite in like 15 20 minutes i throw the bait gopro died it's in front of me not in my chest and suddenly i i i, I feel this 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 lure get get stuck on something and immediately feel that that was a fish and I start pulling and i was like great the first fish in a couple of hours and the GoPro is off. The GoPro is not on and it's not recording. But I, I might as well just, just release the fish and all the stuff and not record anything because at the end of the day, I, ha I have catch like five or six fish today and it's pretty good and it's pretty good. It was enough to, for me. But when this fish start pulling and it starts to get close to the, to the boat, I realized that this is a good fish. It's the better, it's the best fish of the day. Um, it's not a giant, like you can say, you can see here. It's not a giant, but it's definitely the best fish of the day. And so I removed the hook from the fish. It was in his mouth. Nothing crazy, but I realized that this fish has something out, and and something out coming of his mouth, and it was it was weird and. 
I removed the, the lure and I start checking this thing and realize it's actually his guts, you know, all these things that he has inside. All, all those things are were coming out of his mouth. I don't know if it was when I set the hook or something like that. I don't know what it was, but when I put him back in the water, obviously the fish wasn't responding, was like half dead. And I, 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 I leave it there like for a while. You, I don't know, I think that I record that. Oh, actually, I forgot to mention, I, I put this fish on the boat, I grabbed the GoPro because it was a good fish. I changed the batteries really quick. I gave the fish some air so so it doesn't die while well, I changed the batteries. I I did it super fast. I, I changed the batteries super fast and I turned the GoPro on and started recording. And when I realized that this fish was, wasn't gonna live, well, uh, obviously I kill it. I kill it really fast. And uh, you know, if you want to kill uh, a fish really fast so it doesn't suffer uh, you have to cause them brain dead and doing this you I don't know I stab this fish in the head or you smack him really hard but I, I, I can do it I can I can smack the fish in the kayak it's kind of it's kind of difficult because especially because this fish is alive and and it's jumping all around so it probably fells off the kayak or something like that so the easiest way is to to stab the fish in the head with this and you cause an instant death with brain dead, you know? And I did it. And today, today I did that twice. As you can see a little trout and this one that does, is the, the best one of today. Um, but yeah, I just want to point out that two fish dead in the kayak for me is like too much. Like, I, I, I don't usually take any fish home but it's going it's going to be it's not going to be wasted like, like I have said before with the with your fish it's not going to be wasted um, we're gonna eat something we're gonna eat we're gonna make some some ceviche and but just a couple minutes here and we're gonna call it a day because I'm actually really tired and hungry <music>